The most rewarding things you can do in life are often the ones that look like they cannot be done. Those words from Wake Forest College alum and greatest golfer of his generation, Arnold Palmer, perfectly describe this place he once called home. A place that won big, lost big, stumbled and mourned, and, like the champions it bred, did what everyone said couldn't be done. If I look at myself at 20, Wake Forest is where my heart is, because this is where I grew up. And this is where I, I fell in love with an institution. And it is this place that I treasure, as I called it once, the country of my heart. And I, I, I still believe that. Wake Forest was a jewel of the American South. When Depression-era filmmaker H. Lee Waters captured these street scenes in 1939, he found a town with shops, pharmacies, boarding houses, approximately two dozen restaurants, two movie theaters, and a pair of department stores. The college was more than 100 years old, and the town was bursting at its seams. No, uh, we were one community. We were one family, really. It was a an ideal uh, environment. Uh, the, the students knew everybody in town. The merchants downtown uh, knew all of the students. We um, cooperated, collaborated, and shared what we had. Uh, downtown, I'd go in and out of the businesses. Everybody downtown, all the owners knew me and I knew them. So I had to watch what I did because when I got home, if I had done something I shouldn't have done, my parents already knew about it. It was our main thing to go to it was drugstore to get a cone of ice cream. <laughs> we enjoyed that just walking. It was a happy time and reminders are everywhere. The historic well removed from campus and restored now stands on the museum grounds. The campus arch, once the main pedestrian entrance for students arriving from the train station. Wake Forest Baptist Church the shop at the corner of North Main Street that has been a store, fraternity house, and ice cream shop. And the South Brick House, made of local clay. This was one of three structures the Baptist State Convention...